I may tell you that award to Emma Thompson went down rather well back there, and so indeed did the unexpected appearance of Christopher Reeve. But now we're getting right into the heavy stuff because the next couple of awards include Best Director, and whoever wins that is automatically a very serious player in Hollywood. Now the favourite is Mel Gibson for Braveheart, but Britain has two contenders of its own. Mike Radford for Il Postino and Mike Figgis for leaving Las Vegas. Figgis in particular had a heck of a job because he had no permission to film in Vegas but went ahead and did it anyway. One of the advantages of the way we made leaving Las Vegas was that everything, the entire film was shot in 28 days so we had no time to linger and it's such a crucial, for me it was a breakthrough, the idea of not having to linger on material but you know Prime your actors, know what you're doing, shoot it and get out of there as quickly as possible. So why are you a drunk? Why am I drunk? Why, is that really what you want to ask me? Yes. Well, then this is our first date, or our last. Until now, I wasn't sure it was either. First. It's our first. I think he's just one of our most brilliant directors. I really, really do. And I feel so um, lucky that he gave me this gift of a part that um, he never auditioned anyone else for. the right girl I'm interested in telling stories about people you know and about relationships and to me the most interesting thing in a film is a relationship and how you can the nuances of how you tell that story the same story over and over again if you like 